Hey guys, the other day I saw a state senator talking about semi-automatic rifles like this and how fast they could shoot. It really caught my ear because being a professional and a gun owner, I'm really interested in things like that. I've been doing this for 30 years, trying to learn how to shoot fast. And he was talking about rates of fire that was pretty astonishing. He also brought to my attention a 30 caliber magazine clip. So I tried to assemble to the best of my knowledge what that would look like. So we have a 30 caliber, we have a magazine and we have a clip. So it's all the food groups that he mentioned all in one package. Supposedly this makes them shoot faster. So I'm really interested in being a better shooter. So I assembled that 30 caliber magazine clip. I'm gonna put it in my semi-automatic platform here and see just how many rounds I can shoot in half a second. He was talking about rates of fire that occur within a half a second. So I'm gonna try to do a half second burn here on that target. Here we go. All right, let's take a look at that. See how long that actually took from the first to the last shot. All right, first shot actually started in 48 hundredths of a second and the last round was in 96 hundredths of a second guys that's almost exactly half a second for me to fire four rounds on target and the actual split times was 16 a 16 a 16 and a 16 so 1600 splits about four rounds half second on target not bad considering i did it all with my 30 caliber magazine clip but we're going to go try to do a 30 round burn and see how long it takes for that to happen. Okay guys, we're back. Got a 30 round magazine, a 30 caliber magazine clip completely loaded with 30 rounds. I have my uh, modern sporting rifle here. I'm going to see how long it takes me to actually fire 30 rounds on target. Semi-automatic. Here we go. So there it is guys, that's the best I can do with my fancy magazine clip here. Let's actually take a look at the timer and see what we did. We got 30 rounds on the clock. The start was 59 or 6 tenths of a second and the total time was a 5.3. So we're looking at a 4.3. Four Four point seven seconds to fire thirty rounds on target. We were down about 15, 16, uh, 1500 splits. Had a thirteen and seventeen, so they averaged out. Not really bad, but it's still the whole performance took me right around four point seven seconds. So apparently, the enhancement of the thirty caliber clip on the magazine didn't make me a better shooter. So I'm kind of disappointed. But we've got other things to talk about. Hey guys, being a gun enthusiast, when I hear politicians talk about firearms, I, I listen with an open ear. So I really I paid attention to this individual and what he was trying to say. He referred to a 30 caliber magazine clip. So I tried to assemble all that just the way I heard it. So this is a 30 caliber. Of course, of course if you're a gun person, you already, you already know that's an M1 Garand fully loaded to eight rounds of 30 odd six ammunition. And here I have also an M1 Garand clip, which no ammunition in it. And I have a magazine, it happens to be a 30 round standard magazine. So I have all the things here that he talked about, but none of them really pertain to one another. So that really caught my ear. Also what I heard was rates of fire. And being a, an enthusiast and a competitor, when you talk about rates of fire, that's where I live. This is what I have to do. I have to beat the other guy. So he was talking about rates of fire and he mentioned that it was possible on some of these platforms to fire 30 rounds in half a second. That's pretty quick guys. So I did the math on that. That's actually 3,600 rounds a minute. And the only platform that I've ever heard of that could do such a thing is actual minigun. And the only reason they can do it, it has six barrels and it has an electric motor that spins it at, a, at an RPM fast enough to where it can feed and extract these cartridges. It's not a single barrel platform. It's a battery mounted, uh, electrically, fired, electrically activated fire on platform. So it's a totally different animal. It's not even nowhere possible for this to even cycle that quick. 
if you look in Wikipedia and you research the M16, which is a standard service rifle used by the U.S. forces, uh, they show they say anywhere from 700 to 950 rounds a minute. So if you take the average of that, which would be about 825 rounds a minute, that would be a, a split time of like 0.7 one hundredths of a second per shot. So I went out and tried to fire this semi-auto version of a modern sporting rifle as fast as I could pull the trigger. And the best I could do was 375 rounds per minute. And that was about a 1600 split. So it's quite a difference, guys, when you talk about rates of fire and how fast projectiles can actually leave the platform. So just give you an idea. So half a second, I can do about five rounds when, I, when I'm excited and everything is cool. But that's just rates of fire. So when you listen to politicians, guys, research what they say and hold them to it. Also, there's some concern about polymer guns going through metal detectors. This is a, let me go ahead and get this ammunition off the table. Even though it doesn't fit the platform I have, uh, I like no ammunition present when I handle a firearm. You notice I have a chamber flag. <clears throat> and what that means, that this flag goes into the chamber of the firearm. So I know instantly when this is properly inserted, there cannot be a round in the chamber, but I'm gonna do a visual anyway. There's nothing there, there's no magazine. So I have a totally empty platform here. And we'll go ahead and pull the pins on it. This is a polymer lower on a modern sporting rifle. Give you an idea, a lot of concerns about this being able to go through a metal detector, but if you look internally there, of course the hammer and the trigger and the safety and the bolt catch and the magazine release and the push pins and more importantly guys, all this sub-assembly, which is critical for this whole system to work, is metal. You have an aluminum buffer and you have a, a, a spring here made out of made out of spring steel. So there's a lot of a lot of metal present in this polymer lower receiver. This is a perfectly legal serial numbered with a metal plate embedded into the polymer. Totally legal platform to own. Uh, they were manufactured some years ago. This is just one example of it. So everything here is legal, but you can see by the amount of metal present, even the screws and the buttstock, guys. Of course, that's metal. So this will not pass through any metal detector. And it's a polymer made, totally legally manufactured, licensed lower receiver. So a lot of metal present. So when you listen, guys, keep your ears open. You'll be surprised what you hear. I'd like to invite you to subscribe to Mitchellek.com. Like me on Facebook, you'll see a link in the, in the description box below. And also keep posted, guys. We've got some really fun stuff coming. Thank you.